my name is wavy vibes welcome back to the channel we have some more call of duty infinite warfare gameplay and i i deleted this game and i you know went to go back and re-download it and i looked and i looked at all the content the game had in it so i said okay why not go back and play some infinite warfare overall this game made me realize something about call of duty it made me realize that i'm not that bad at it because I believe out of all the Call of Duties that I have played, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare by far has gave me the best experience. The best type of matches I ever had, you know, it gave me the best type of gameplay I ever had. I don't know if it's just Infinity War engine, but I enjoy Infinite Warfare way better than I enjoy Black Ops 3. And Treyarch, I love Treyarch. Like, Treyarch is the bread and butter, man. They, they, Treyarch got it all, but I enjoyed Infinite Warfare better. In my opinion, Infinite Warfare did some things way better than Black Ops 3. One of those being the supply drop system. The supply drop system in Black Ops 3 was not good. It was money hungry. It took so much money out of me. It took thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars. And the only thing I wanted was the HG40. And I actually got that weapon and it sucks. So that goes to show you. Black Ops 3 supply drop system is nothing. Infinite Warfare supply drop system is something. At least with Infinite Warfare, I can open up some supply drops. And I ain't got to open up many to get what I want. Nothing is guaranteed. I hate the system overall. I hate the supply drop system. I refuse to keep supporting that system. I, you know, in Advanced Warfare, I was like, okay, I like this system because it added the variety to the game. Weapons that you didn't have, other players had it. It made you want to keep playing the game. I guess that what the developers thought, I guess that what Activision thought when they added the supply drop system was going to have more replayability to the game. But it didn't. The only thing it did was drive their players away. So, another thing infinite warfare maps they maps were built around the foundation of their movement system infinity war did amazing with the map design they're beautiful they did amazing with the weapons the camos in the game it's beautiful not better than Treyarch's, but the camos are beautiful black sky it took them a long time to update that camo but when they did it the camo actually looks pretty good it almost looked better than dark matter so the camos they did pretty good the medals in this game, it felt amazing when you get on those high gun streets and you see the medals pop up on the screen. I mean, pop. oh my god, what was I saying? Pop up on the screen. You see those medals. And it made, it made it feel more rewarding to keep playing the game. Now, what I did not like, the kill. How it felt when you got a kill. It felt less rewarding. But the metal design was pretty cool. So, Infinite Warfare movement system, their overall gameplay style was pretty cool. It really was. The movement system, I felt like it, you know, I felt it was taken more seriously. I felt like it's just a bumped up version of Black Ops 3 movement system. It flows more better. Because there were times where I played Black Ops 3 and it felt like I was clunked up. Players were just flying everywhere in the air because some of their maps did not fit their movement system. I understand what Treyarch was trying to do. They was trying to, you know, match fan expectations. They were trying to give fans a reward for keep coming back to play their game. They were trying to really impress the fans and they did a good job with that. But I felt like their movement system wasn't taken as seriously as Infinite Warfare is. In Infinite Warfare campaign was a whole lot better than Black Ops 3 campaign. Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now, I'm not, you know, I love zombies. I play zombies. But I would say the general aspect of zombies in this game, eh, yeah, it was very fun. It was taken to be fun. And I think that's something that Treyarch forgot when they're in, with their next game. It was, it was taken to be fun. Treyarch surrounded their zombies by strictly Easter eggs. I think they took their eye off the ball when they made their zombies because they, you know, they forgot the other player base. Some players don't play zombies for Easter eggs. Some players play zombies just to have fun. And I think that's what Treyarch forgot. They they built the zombies for Easter eggs. I'm not hating on it. That's just how they did it. Hopefully Black Ops 4, whatever their next title be, they learn from it. Infinite Warfare Zombies, I didn't, you know, I played it to have fun, and that's what it's all about. That's what a lot of people play Infinite Warfare Zombies, to, to have fun. So, why I say I enjoy Infinite Warfare more than I enjoy Black Ops 3. And it's something, and I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying, from, you know, playing both games, eventually, you know, I'm tired of the movement system myself. I really go back to Boots on the Ground. Call of Duty World War 2 is only horizon. It's almost here, three weeks away. But things Infinity War did. They just did it a whole lot better than Treyarch. And both games were good. Some say Infinite Warfare sucks, but it sold copies. It really did. 
Some say Infinite Warfare sucks, but it sold copies. It was still successful. It sold copies, and a lot of you may argue and say that that's because Modern Warfare Remastered was attached to one of the editions, and you had no choice but to buy that edition just to get Modern Warfare Remastered. I still feel that's not true because Modern Warfare Remastered has AIDS. That game, that game has, you know, that game is broken. It really is. With all the new micro tra micro transact from in that game, it, it, it's broken. All right, the game, the game, I don't, I don't like it, and I don't know if a lot of people like that game. I don't know why people were excited to see it remastered. It is an iconic Call of Duty, but you gotta understand, they remaster an iconic Call of Duty and they give it AIDS. They really do. So that's about all I have to say. But if Infinite Warfare, if Infinite Warfare was released before Black Ops 3, the game would have had a better perception because Infinite War, Infinity War did some things better than Black Ops 3. So it's been your boy Wavy Vibes, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take up, I'm your mad dog. Take